sitting here in Joshua Tree with one of the most inhospitable plants in the world. This is called the Cholo cactus. It's really inhospitable. Look at this. It's crazy. That cactus is the lifeblood of entire species. This is the namesake of Joshua Tree National Park. Look at this plant. See, it looks like uh, the Lorax. Have anybody of you read The Lorax by Dr. Seuss? Well, there's whole species that depend on these completely inhospitable plants and trees and cacti. One of those species is called the cactus wren. Why the hell would a species adapt to surviving off of an incredibly spiny, very hurtful cactus. Makes no sense, right? It's a death trap. You can't touch it without being hurt. By the way, this video is only for my fans who actually believe in evolution. But why would a species evolve to work off of just a very inhospitable cactus? It's a very simple reason because they have free reign afterwards. It doesn't have to worry about anybody taking its worms from that cactus or from some of these Joshua trees because it's got a monopoly. Here's another one right there. How does this relate to business? A lot of people try to think, what is the easiest business I can get into? What is the easiest place to start in business? What is the easiest type of online business to do, affiliate, Amazon, eBay, crypto, whatever? A better question to ask might be, what is the hardest place to get into that I can figure out, that I have a reasonable chance of figuring out? Everybody wants the easy thing. Everybody wants to till the fertile soil. And if you're tilling the fertile soil, you're gonna be in the path of war. The most fertile fields of France and England were the fields that saw the most blood. If you wanna go into the easiest place, prepare to fight lots of battles and continually throughout your entire existence, fighting battles to hold back new oncomers from your business. When you see a ton of people going into a new business area and they're saying, cryptocurrency is the easiest thing to do ever. I'm making millions in Bitcoin, man. It's so easy, just dump your money there. Well, guess what? It's not gonna last for long. You might get in, but a 10,000 other people are getting in because you're going into the easy spot. There's always gonna be some idiots who make money somewhere fast, but it will bring so much competition and bloodshed, you'll never have a sustainable business. And if you are like me, if you have a family or hopes and dreams of being able to live the rest of your life with a business you have, build a business that supports your life, not just makes you a quick buck, then you wanna go in some place that's defensible that has moats. What I'm saying is look for obstacles. Obstacles are fine, especially if you have a reasonable chance of overcoming them. The cactus wren evolved to work on some of the most inhospitable plants in the desert. And because of this, the cactus wren is one of the most thriving species out here because it has free reign over this territory. There are obstacles, there should be obstacles. In fact, obstacles are invited. And if you have some sort of advantage overcoming those obstacles, that's a good business for you to be in because it's gonna mean that it's going to be harder for other people to get into your business and take market share from you. Now, I'm actually gonna bring up one of my students from St. John's, Newfoundland in uh, Canada, way up past Maine, really cold there. His name's Peter Beck. He runs a landscaping business. He's trying to start an, e or an Amazon business or an eBay business selling grow lights, grow lights for the marijuana plants because it's really getting popular now. I don't know too much about him, but I spent some time talking with him on one of my weekly webinars. I meet with my students every week and talk about what's going on their business. He's an older guy and he's not as technical as many people are. And number one way to get ranked, build a business on Amazon and eBay is just show up number one for the keywords. It's a technical job. It's called SEO or platform SEO. Yet he has a landscaping business. He has knowledge. He has a lifetime of knowledge about landscaping. He's done some of the most luxurious gardens. He is fit to do $100,000 garden makeover jobs. Yet he's selling his time on an hourly basis. He's selling plants at a 20% markup. He's not doing anything. He's barely scraping by. And I said, hey, Peter, you have a huge inbuilt advantage. You have a business. You have relationships with contractors and sellers and wholesalers, all this stuff. Why don't you use the marketing techniques that you're learning through my programs and use that to build up your current business? And instead of making five to 10% commissions 
on affiliate products, you'll be making 100%. That's an inbuilt advantage. That's kind of what you want to go into. You want to go into things where there's already obstacles. Hopefully you've already overcome some of those obstacles. There's going to be barriers to entry. So hopefully that resonated with some of you guys. Give me a like or share or comment below. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I'm actually going to be doing a really big giveaway. So guys, stay tuned because you guys are gonna get a massive, massive giveaway. It's gonna be really exciting. We're gonna do some more training videos in this upcoming year. So you guys have a good one from Joshua Tree National Park. I'll see you guys manana. Using John's program, uh, I've been able to generate probably close to a million dollars in additional income for myself. Uh, literally anybody who wants to start an online business, it's a bit of a no-brainer. John is absolutely amazing. I have a day job and uh, during the day I'm a visual effects artist and um, I work on Hollywood movies uh, doing compositing and the majority of my days are really, really um, locked down by time. But um, what I like about the course as well is you can work through your own pace and do it at your own time and the results are astounding. Um, all the videos too um, are really built to get you off the ground as quickly as possible. And um, I didn't think I would be able to pull it off and I followed John's instructions step by step. It, it took a little more than two hours though. I'd say probably about like more like five or six hours and I made five commissions.